to your next music theory lesson. In today's lesson, we're going to be discussing time signatures, more specifically the time signature of 4-4. Four, four. Please print out the PDF that you see attached with this video, and let's get going. Time signatures appear at the beginning of a piece of music, and they're made up of two numbers that sit on top of each other. And how we verbalize that time signature is by saying the top number first and then the bottom number second, so four, four. The top number indicates the number of beats per measure. So when we talk about the measure, we talk about one measure that's identified by the bar lines, and within that one measure, we're gonna have beats. And in 4-4, four, four, we're gonna have four beats in one of those measures. The bottom number indicates which note will get one beat. What that means is that the bottom number represents a certain kind of note that gets one beat. So for instance, the four in 4-4, four, four, that bottom four represents a quarter note. So that tells you that the quarter note gets one beat. So when we're talking about 4-4 four, four, and we're counting off the beats, one, two, three, four, these would be quarter notes, one, two, three, four. Um, my advice to you is uh, that this number will become more significant as you continue to learn music. Don't get hung up on it too much right away. The more important number is that top number as you begin reading music. In 4-4 four, four time, there are four beats in each measure, just like we talked about. The quarter note, which would get one beat, the half note gets two beats, and the whole note gets four beats. Let's do the first two measures of exercise number one together. Clap the rhythm while counting the beats out loud. So if we're in 4-4, four, four, we see four quarter notes, then we see the bar line, then we see a whole note, and then we see another bar line. We're gonna do just these first two measures. So I'm going to clap the notes that are actually written on the page, and I'm gonna verbalize one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So you notice I clap each quarter note, and then I clap one whole note and count for four beats because a whole note gets four beats. In exercise number two, write in the beats below, and then see if you can clap and count along with exercise number two. Exercise number three, write a 4-4 four, four time signature after the clef sign. Write the beats in below, and then see if you can clap and count this exercise. For exercise number three, I'll do the first two measures for you. We can do these together. We see beat one is always the first note there. We have that beat one is C, beat two is D, beat three is E, and then beat four, there's no note above that because the E is a half note and it gets two beats. It gets both beat three and beat four. Same thing in the next measure. We see the bar line and the next measure. Beats one, two, three, and four. So I'm gonna clap and count this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. In exercise number four, it says write a four, four time signature after the clef sign, write in the count below the notes, and then draw in the missing bar lines. So now it's your job to count one, two, three, four beats, and then draw the missing bar line. So make sure that you account for what's a quarter note, what's a half note, what's a whole note, and how many beats those notes get. In exercise number five, write in the count below the notes and the missing bar lines again. Enjoy filling this sheet out and I will see you for the next lesson.